If you ever experience any kind of technical error while working with Atlas TI, you can always count on the support of our technical support staff. Now, it's very helpful to also send a screencast or a recording of your computer screen so that you can show the technicians exactly what happens when this error occurs. There's a lot of different ways that you can record your screen, and perhaps you already have a software on your computer, and of course, feel free to use whichever screen recording software that you prefer. Now, in this video tutorial, we would like to show everyone how you can uh, record your screen so you can send this to the technicians in case you ever need their support. So what we're going to show is how you can use Screencast. This is a software that allows you to record the screen, and most importantly, they have a free version. So if we just search for Screencast, here we have it, of TechSmith, We'll click here, and then, of course, we'll just use the free version. So here it's going to ask us to create an account, as per usual. So we'll just sign up, and we'll enter here our email address. Oh, here we go. We'll create a new account. And so now we can create the password right here. And now we've already entered Screencast. So if you'd like, you can see this video to get started. But for now, we'll just go ahead and close it. And so then basically what you'll need to do is you'll launch the recorder. And so when we launch the recorder, we have this loading page now, and we're going to need to download, here we have it, TechSmith Capture. And so if you don't already have it downloaded, you can just click here to download and install it on your computer. So once we have TechSmith Capture installed, we can just go ahead and refresh the page so that we'll open it now. And so here we can select which area of our screen we want to be recording, whether we want the whole screen or a specific region that we can select. And we can also select uh, which microphone we want to use. So uh, typically the built-in microphone of your computer is perfectly fine. You can decide whether or not you want to record the system audio, so any noises that your computer may make, and as well whether or not we want to record the cursor. We do recommend recording the cursor so that the technicians can see what you're doing with your mouse when the error occurs. So when we're ready, then we can click the Capture button. And down here, we can specify whether we want to take a picture, so like a screenshot, or whether we want to record a video. And in this case, we do want to record a video so that we can show what, what we do when this error occurs, you know, what happens right before and right after. So this kind of information is incredibly helpful for the technicians to identify what's causing that error so that they can also fix it as soon as possible. So when we're ready to begin recording, we'll click the record button here. And then the TechSmith capture is counting down for us. And now our screen is being recorded. And so at this point, you can open Atlas TI, whether that's Atlas TI Windows, Atlas TI Mac, or Atlas TI Cloud and then uh, do whatever it was that you were doing when that error occurred. And so let's say if you experience some sort of error in Atlas TI Cloud, then you can log into your account here and then uh, reproduce that error. So just follow the same actions that you did that made that error happen or where maybe something isn't working the way that it's supposed to be. So just record that segment. And then when you're done, we can go ahead and click down here to stop the recording. So we can click stop now. And then TechSmith Capture opens the video for us and we can upload it to Screencast. So by clicking on the Upload to Screencast button, we're essentially saving this video and it'll be saved in our Screencast account, so the free account that we just created. And then it'll be available there and we can easily share it with, with anyone else. Another nice feature of Screencast is that it also gives us the link to our media right here. So we can just copy this link and then this is what we can send to the Atlas TI support team so that they can view the video and it'll help them to better identify the problem. And so if we ever go back to our screencast account now, and so now we can go to videos and let's see here. So now it's refreshed and we can see that video that we just created. So you can watch it again, you can download it if you'd like to have it available offline. And if you click on the video, let's go ahead and view it. And so from here, you also have more options for sharing the video. And so you can simply 
uh, copy paste this URL, this link right here, and send it to a member of the Atlas TI team. And this will be of great help for the technicians in identifying and resolve the problem. So for a quick recap, what we recommend is to use Screencast as this allows you to create a free account. So you'll register with your email and you'll have to create a password and confirm the email that you'll receive. And then you can enter your Screencast account. Uh, you may have to download the, the TechSmith Capture program. But then with that, you can record any part of your screen and then the, all the videos will be saved in your account online and you can easily share it with anyone else. And with that, now you know how you can easily share any problems or questions or curiosities that you may be facing with Atlas TI with our developers so that we can always quickly and easily help you and of course facilitate your qualitative data analysis journey with Atlas TI. Mm -hmm.